So while we're at FreeBuds, its range of true wireless earbuds usually serve up impressive audio and some seriously premium features for a reasonable price, but they can also be a bit of a mixed bag. Take for instance these fresh new Huawei FreeBuds 4, which serve up all kinds of great features like active noise cancellation, touch controls, basically everything you could hope and dream for in a pair of true wireless earbuds, but for just 130 quid, making them shag loads cheaper than the likes of your Apple AirPods or your Sony WHs. Unfortunately, the Huawei FreeBuds 4 serve up a hard shell design instead of a lovely rubbery squishy tip. That's the same as the FreeBuds 4i, which I found you just didn't get that seal that you needed for the noise cancellation to actually be effective and the comfort levels weren't great. However, Huawei reckons that it has vastly improved the noise cancelling capabilities and the comfort levels here for the Huawei FreeBuds 4, so has it? Actually, well, I've been rocking them in my lug holes for over a week now, so here's my in-depth Huawei FreeBuds 4 review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now the earbuds themselves are smaller and lighter than those FreeBuds 4i. Definitely nice and light, you barely even feel them actually when they are stuffed inside of your skull. Your colour options here in the UK are these ceramic white ones, otherwise also silver frost. Apparently you can get the Huawei FreeBuds 4 in a bright red, colour elsewhere in the world but just not here in Blighty. None of your vibrant hues thank you very much just boring shades for us ta. But I've got to admit I have been impressed by the comfort afforded by the Huawei FreeBuds 4. Normally if you don't get the silicone tip usually I find that my inner ears feel a little bit sensitive, a little bit sore after maybe a couple of hours or so but I can rock these things in my skull all afternoon long no worries. And the best thing is as well, despite the fact you haven't got that lovely uh, rubbery tip to help you know, properly wedge them in there, is that the Huawei FreeBuds 4 never seemed to want to pop out of my head even when I was getting quite active. And just to prove my point, mosh test. Now pairing with a new smartphone, nice and easy, the first time you flip the lid on the Huawei FreeBuds 4, they will go into pairing mode. Uh, you can hook up in just a few seconds, otherwise there is a dinky little button, kind of the camouflaged here on the side of the uh, box, which you can just hold in and that will again enter pairing mode. And I found that generally the connection stayed pretty stable more often than not. Occasionally I did get a little bit of breakup, certainly when I was in a fairly busy area like a beach, because I've actually been to a goddamn beach this week. Wow. The range isn't particularly great though, so we want to keep your, your phone or whatever you're streaming from pretty close by. And you've got all the standard true wireless earbud features here on the Huawei FreeBuds 4 as well. So for instance, if you take out just one of the buds, just pluck it from your head, the uh, music or whatever you're listening to will automatically pause and then when you stick the bud back in, it will auto resume. And I found this feature worked really, really well as long as you don't leave too long of a pause in between taking out the bud and putting it back in, the auto resume worked perfectly every time. You've also got a great set of touch controls on the FreeBuds 4 as well. You just got to touch up towards the top end of the bud. It's a double tap to start playing whatever you're listening to. Another double tap will pause it. Very short delay in between uh, play and pause, but very, very short, pretty impressive stuff. Uh, you can also long press in order to activate or deactivate active noise cancellation. And if you want to change uh, the volume as well, that's nice and easy. Just flick up or down the buds and that will change the volume for you. Occasionally I did find that that didn't quite work first time, but generally more often than not it did. So not quite comprehensive touch controls, unfortunately. You can't skip a track or anything, but they do work impressively well compared with a lot of rivals. As for the audio, well, Huawei has upgraded the sound compared with previous buds. You know, you've got 143 millimeter dynamic drivers, which do a stunning job considering the size of these things. You get well balanced sound and a clear stereo effect. And apparently Huawei has actually added in an adaptive equalizer feature to the Huawei FreeBuds 4 as well, which can suss out the shape of your lug holes and then change the output to suit your own particular head shape. Does that actually work or do anything? Uh, I've got no bloody clue, unfortunately. All I can tell you is that I personally enjoyed the sound that was being blasted into my head. What I can say though is that you've got to make sure the Huawei FreeBuds 4 are perfectly positioned because if they're just ever so slightly wonky so the audio isn't being blasted straight into your ears then you will find that the sound is a little bit flat, just doesn't sound quite right. You've also now got an independent bass engine as well so you get slightly deeper, slightly louder bass uh, from these compared with previous Huawei FreeBuds, although again, true bassaholics ain't going to be satisfied by these things. You're going to want to get some proper over-ear efforts to really enjoy your tracks. One of the features of the Huawei FreeBuds 4 I was most intrigued by was the active noise cancellation because of course there had to have been the FreeBuds 4i as well but the lack of silicone sealing just meant that it just did nothing at all but Huawei reckons it's upgraded the ANC you've now got two mics instead of just one so how effective actually is it? 
Well, I gotta admit, I am impressed by the noise cancellation on the Huawei FreeBuds 4. I did notice a difference when I was walking down a busy high street between having the ANC off and the ANC on. Turn the noise cancelling on and the rumble of the traffic that's passing by definitely is dampened somewhat. But unfortunately, once again, because you don't have that proper seal, you're still getting a lot of that external noise invading your ears, which is particularly annoying. If you're trying to listen to a podcast or an audio book where it's just people talking, you have to concentrate really hard to try and hear what they hear. I ended up bumping up the volume, even with the ANC on. Uh, so yeah, not great. Absolutely fine if you just listen to music, but if you like spoken word stuff, it just won't cut it in a busy environment. So take last week, for instance, I had a good old fashioned British beach holiday. And yes, I'm gonna keep on mentioning that because I'm just so giddy with excitement that I've actually been on a beach. I had my buds in, I was split on the sand, but instead of being able to enjoy the podcast that I was trying to listen to, all I could hear was the chain smoking lady position just a few yards away. Oi, Ronnie, Ronnie, where's Ronnie? Oi, Summer, Summer, where's Ronnie? Summer, 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 where's Summer? Oi, Declan, Declan, where's your sister? What? Well, go get her out the sea, she's only bloody four. And go find Ronnie, will ya? Oi, Gaz, Gaz, don't you feed that fucking seagull. Don't you fucking dare. I said, don't you dare, Gaz, Gaz. Ah, British holidays, best in the world. So in summary, as far as the noise cancellation goes, the Freebuds 4 only really good if you want to just dampen the noise down a little bit, but still remain very much aware of what is going on in your environment. And frankly, I'd say maybe just save yourself a little bit of cash and get yourself something like the Google Pixel Buds A series instead, which costs £99. Don't have noise cancellation, but they do have a proper rubber sealy tip uh, instead and it dampens the environment just as much. Thankfully I don't know if it's because of the dual mic design now but the free buds 4 are really good when you're making calls in quite noisy environments. The other person at the other end of the line could still hear what was going on around me but you know it can pick up my voice really really clearly so definitely good on that side of things. The only other disappointment with the Huawei free buds 4 is the battery life which offers around sort of four hours of use. That's with the ANC turned off by the way before you'll need to pluck them from your ears and stick them back in a handy a little carry case. And yeah, four hours is pretty poor compared with a lot of rivals, which tend to offer around sort of five to six hours of use without any kind of noise cancelling on the go. For instance, the Freebuds Pro, uh, which were released last year, they offer five hours of use with that ANC off. Thankfully, the buds seem to charge pretty quick once they're shoved away in the carry case. You get around four full charges from the case itself as well before that also needs a bit of a recharge. You can do that via Type-C USB. You do get the uh, cable bundled in the box and everything. And there will be a wireless charging version of the Pixel Buds 4 case as well coming out apparently in around a sort of a month or two for a little bit of extra cash. And like with the other free buds uh, cases, I really, really enjoy it. Really, really nice and light, easy to slip into a pocket, uh, quite slim line as you can see there. Uh, the only issue potentially is that, again, the lid hinge feels a little bit like it could snap off under pressure. Uh, so you just got to be careful with that. So right there's my full final review of the Huawei FreeBuds 4. A decent pair of true wireless earbuds. Definitely get some nice premium features and some good sound and audio uh, for £130. A lot cheaper than some rivals. But unfortunately the active noise cancellation just doesn't cut it because you don't get that proper seal. And the battery life isn't as strong as many rivals. Now, I've tested and reviewed tons of other true wireless earbuds in 2021. Go check out my review of the Google Pixel Buds A series, which I did just a week or so ago. Really fantastic for £99 pounds even though they don't have built-in ANC. It would be great to hear your own thoughts down in the comments below. Your own personal pair of true wireless earbuds that you're rocking in your head right now or not right now at this very instance but you know whenever you do listen to music or whatever you like to listen to and for more of the latest and greatest tech please do plug subscribe ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.